What is the importance of craft in 2022? It's so easy to not make something nowadays. There used to only be craft. Like that's just how humans lived and navigated their worlds and their communities. And now it's so easy to not, to not do that. Uh, everything, can, literally everything can be delivered to your door aside from certain carnal desires. There's something about a pot that's just kind of irresistible or like a really well-made pot is irresistible. Uh, and also, and you know, even a badly made one has a great, great charm to it. That's really, uh, really remarkable. Like you, you, you use a bad pot and you're like, wow, I will never forget that. <laughs> I started doing ceramics in high school and I got really lucky. Uh, I was able to take ceramics as a sophomore uh, in high school. And so when I touched clay, I was like, wow, this is kind of something that I've been missing. Uh, there was something uh, that felt really completing about it in my senior year where I was just doing my AP courses and then three hours of ceramics a day. And I got, like I said, I'm very grateful and like very lucky that I had that experience in a public school system at that. Yeah, coming out of high school, I was like, cool, all of my problems can be solved with ceramics or with clay. Uh, that, why not work with that theory? And so when I was 18, I moved out there to attend college there. I was originally going for two degrees. One was engineering in ceramics and uh, ceramic art or a bachelor's of fine arts. Engineering didn't quite work out. And at that point, I had also kind of become a little disillusioned with ceramics uh, when you pin all your hopes and dreams on a single medium. So, you know, it doesn't necessarily work out. So ceramics and I had a little bit of a breakup in college. Uh, funny enough, after college, I, after college, I worked at the museum, the local museum, for uh, for a brief stint, and I met Mariah at that time, and she kind of brought me back into ceramics, and I was able to I was able to sneak some work into the kilns and sort of get playing around with that, and I started taking ceramics really seriously when I when Mariah and I traveled to Shigaraki, Japan, which is one of the six ancient kiln sites in Japan. It, in the way, way, way back times, uh, this kiln site or this area would make work for the emperor. And so that was like, whoa, like here we are, we're in Japan and we're making ceramics. And so I really dug my teeth into ceramics once again. With my ceramics, I really am just thinking of uh, like more of the cortex part of uh, part of thinking in a way. It's a lot more instinctual and then the cerebral stuff that comes afterward is like well I'd better put a hollow in this so that it's so that it's something that it's a that it's a cup. It's defined it's defined a little bit further and I like I said I'm still trying to figure out what that definition really is or why that definition is necessarily even important because yeah I could just I could very well just make these really fine, heavily textured pieces and then not have them open. But then it's kind of like, well, yeah, you did just kind of make a rock at that point. And so there's something about the hollow in a piece that's really, that's really important, at least in, when we talk about ceramics or if we want to speak medium specifically to ceramics. Uh, and uh, so I think there's something that people recognize as lacking. Uh, lacking in either that lifestyle or the general trajectory that they feel their community is heading. Perhaps there's this impetus, this like tool building impetus uh, in humans where it's like, okay, well like maybe I should, uh, I'm not, maybe I'm not happy with where I am right now or maybe I am super happy with where I am right now, but I would like to make something. And there's no replacement for that in the world of screens necessarily. There's nothing there aside from glass that we can touch. And so either whether it's wood turning, weaving, ceramics, what have you, uh, I think there's great benefits for 
uh, for people's well-being for being involved in some sort of craft. And, that, and yeah, it could really be anything.